Bolt, the guest list for the 2020 summit is starting to take shape. Rudd right, is cool. Can we take cool. from this, Andrew? You haven't got your invite yet. It See, may come there. in the deluge of mail for Valentine's this this week. Oh. You know, it might it might still be in the mail. Oh my God! So's my bosses. Oh, well, let's forget that. <laughs> um, we've come to the big pineapple in Nambour, Queensland. Kevin couldn't be here because he's everywhere else, but we've certainly got him here in spirit. Um, and then, and, and it took a cartoonist to point it out that the pineapple actually wasn't a bad likeness. The uh, <laughs> The cowlick up top sort of needs breaking down a bit. I'm talking <laughs> pictures this morning with the uh, member for Higgins and soon to be just plain old ordinary citizen Costello. I sense a bit of disappointment in your answers so far. Can we have a guarantee from you that that's the only time you'll deliver that line in the next no, hour? No, but it's true, David. This is the mega oh. thing. Look, if we're into it, we're into it. Ding, 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 ding. It's on. Yeah, now you like guys scoff, but I would guarantee that neither of you has actually just, checked I'm just the fact. I'm reading the Sunday Telegraph. I'm reading the Sunday Telegraph. The University of East bum crack about you know penguins still being alive. At least I study, I study it. It's our Prime Minister's Ute here, let's crush it! Let's give it back to Kevin in pieces! Kevin, these are goody two-shoes and that's a good thing. The best way to describe Kevin is he's overseas. Well, the killing season delivered again. And all those who for years had imagined an Abbott and Costello leadership team, well now, they'll have to settle for an Abbott and a Bishop. We're taking a whacking in the polls now, and the bottom line is, I think we deserve it. The Prime Minister does seem determined to beat up on himself at the moment. I don't think anyone would say that the government's been performing as badly as the Prime Minister now seems to imply. Where is the Cabinet and where is the caucus? As political weeks go, that one was hard to beat. The country has a new Prime Minister, the first woman in the job. It's been exhilarating. It's been uh, challenging and, yeah, occasionally it has been a bit scary. What's scary about it? Well, interviews like this, Barry. <laughs> How times have changed. Good morning, welcome to Insiders. The morning after the most remarkable election night in Australia's history. 14 million Australians voted and we don't have a result. We're astonished, Barry. We're, uh, we're uh, also very tired, so back to you in the studio. Why do they do that? It's one thing to say you need to be part of the entertainment industry, it's another to look like a clown. If the rules of the game are put on a funny hat, dance the macarena, put on a tutu in order to get coverage, that's what people do. Mine's just a childish observation. I thought it was quite significant. Listen to Tony Windsor here. I don't and, want to and, listen and, to Tony Windsor. And, well, <laughs> <laughs> you'll just have to sit there and listen. You don't have to pick your partner, I think, in this place from now on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I've sort of got eyes for Chris Pine. He's a gift for the cartoonist because of his hat. Yeah. Uh, and his leather briefcase. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's toilet paper in it, you know. I looked inside. I suppose we shouldn't be surprised that a bushy carries toilet paper in his briefcase. <laughs> Finally, I feel as if I should get down on one knee and ask this question. Are you going to marry Tim? Oh, it's lovely. <laughs> it's like an electric limbo, Tony. <laughs> Just goes to show there's no such thing as an Abbott-proof fence. So we can't <laughs> let this go without... We're very excited to have you here tonight. Get any one of them to say that plainly. So we had eight days without a shower. Let's move on now, shall we? <laughs> Back to you, Barry. <laughs> and I feel as if I've weathered a dozen anniversaries already. Come on. Making us all feel very excited about being here.